points A, B, C, D have coordinates minus 6, 4, 9, minus 1, 3, 16, and 7, minus 7, 11, respectively. A part I, we want to find the gradient of AC. So the gradient of AC can be found by using Y2, so the difference in Y, divided by the difference in X. Now, when identifying which is y x1, y1, and x2, y2, uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter which way around you do it, but you have to be consistent. So I'm going to take C as x2, y2, because it is further right when we consider the axis. And so we get 16 for the y coordinate, take away on the top, and 3 the x-coordinate take away on the bottom. I tend to find if you focus on the first coordinate and put it in position first of all and then focus on the second coordinate it can help avoid silly errors. So then 16 the y-coordinate is minus 4 and then the x-coordinate is minus minus 6. So when we work through this we get 12 over 3 minus minus 6 will give me 9 and we can cancel this to get four thirds. So this is a part I. Marks for a part I, you are given method mark for using the difference in Y over the difference in X. So that can either be for the formula or the numerical version and then you get an accuracy mark for correct answer or equivalent of four thirds. Okay, so part two, I want to show that the equation of AC is four X minus three Y plus 36 equals to zero. So using Y minus Y one equals M X minus X one. Substitute in one of the coordinates. You can use either coordinate. I'm gonna focus on the coordinate A simply because it uses lower values. So we're going to get y minus 4 equals 4 thirds x minus minus 6. Now to make life a little bit easier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 3. So I remove the denominator. So I'm going to get y, 3y, sorry, minus 12 equal to, and then I can expand the bracket on the top, so I get 4x minus 20, uh, sorry, plus 24. Okay, so we're almost there. I want to get all the x's and all the y's on one side. I want the x's to be positive, so I'm going to subtract the 3y from both sides, and I'm going to add 12 to both sides, and so when I work through this, we get 4x minus 3y plus the 36 equal to 0 as required. Okay, so how do we get our marks in this question? Well, the marks in this question, we've got m1 for a correct method of finding an equation of a line. I have then got a1 if the substitution of a coordinate into the equation is done correctly and then we get the final a1 mark should you demonstrate with suitable workings that you can get to this equation 4x minus 3y plus 36 equals 0. Part 3. Part 3 says to show that BD is perpendicular to AC. So let's find the gradient of BD. BD, we're going to use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I'm not going to write the formula out again. I've already written it once for myself. So this time uh, we're going to take B as the second point, as that is rightermost on the axis as we consider. The way we do this is just checking the x value, who has the highest x value. So minus 1 is going to go on the top. So minus 1 minus, and then we're going to have 9 
minus on the denominator. So then on the top we're going to have minus 1 minus 11. On the bottom we're going to have 9 minus minus 7. I'm going to work through this. We're going to get minus 12 over 16, which cancels to give minus 3 over 4. Okay, so now I've got the gradient of BD. Remember that if two lines are perpendicular, then we have the gradient of those two lines multiplied together will give us minus 1. So I've got the gradient of AC, which is 4 thirds. I've got the gradient of BC, uh, BD, which is minus 3 quarters. When I multiply them together, I get minus 12 over 12, which equals minus 1. Therefore, AC and BD are perpendicular. And so we are done. Now, how are marks awarded for this question? Well, you can have an accuracy mark if you correctly got the three quarters, you can have a method mark if you've got a statement or you've tried to use this property m1 minus m2 or the rearrangement of it is equal to zero and then you get an accuracy mark for this final line all across here if you've actually shown that for uh, the two gradients multiplied together is minus one and you stated that they are perpendicular. Okay, we then have part four. Part four says to find the equation of BD. So, uh, sorry, B, yeah, BD. So all I have to do now, I've got the uh, gradient. I'm not gonna write out the formula of the equation of a line again. I'm just gonna substitute a coordinate straight in. I'm gonna pick the great point P to put in, so point B, simply because it has lower numbers. So I'm going to get Y minus minus 1 equal to minus 3 quarters X minus 9. If I times the whole equation by 4 to get rid of that denominator, I get 4Y Minus minus 1 gives us plus 1, so multiply that by 4, I get 4y plus 4. Equal to, since I've got a minus on the outside, the position of the x and the constant will switch. So I'll multiply the constant first, so I get positive 27. And then I will multiply the x, which gives me minus 3x. Just to finish off, tidy it up, I am going to subtract 4 from both sides. And I'm going to add 3x to both sides so that we get four, uh, 3x plus 4y is equal to 23. Okay, marks awarded in this question, quite simply, if you can substitute in the correct values. and get to our equation, so I make it a little bit clearer, then you get your accuracy mark there. So let's look at part B. Part B says the lines AC and BD intersect at the point E. We want to show that E has the coordinates minus three, eight. Okay, so the equation of AC was given as 4x minus 3y and then it was plus 36 so I'm going to subtract 36 from both sides just so I get it in this form minus 36 and BD which we just found was 3x plus 4y equal to 23 so what I'm looking for, points of intersection of two lines, is always found by a simultaneous equation. What's nice with this format of the equation is we've got uh, 
we can solve this by elimination. Okay, the x and y terms don't match up at the moment, but what I'm going to do is I'm multiply each equation so that the y terms match. So I'm going to multiply the top equation by 4, and I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by 3, and so I'm going to get 16x minus 12y equals minus 144. And then the bottom one becomes 9x plus 12y equal to uh, 69. So if I call these equations 3 and equations 4 now, what I can do is I can add these two equations together. So remember, it's important that you communicate how you're solving your simultaneous equations. If I add the two equations together, I get 25x is equal to minus 75. And so I can divide both sides by 25 to give us the result. That's x equals minus 3 as required. I'm now going to sub this into one of the equations. I can substitute it into any of the equations. I'm going to substitute it into 2 because the y term here is positive. So just make that clear what I'm doing. So we're then going to get 3, lots of minus 3, plus 4y, equals 23. Adding 9 to both sides, I get 4y is equal to 32, and then dividing both sides by 4, we get that y equals 8 as required, so intersect at minus 3, 8. Now please remember, when it says this word show, it's not asking you simply to substitute this coordinate in and show that actually we do uh, that this equation is true and this equation is true and it works or any other alternative method. All it is doing is providing you with the coordinates so that you can answer the second part of the question. You are expected to find it as if you don't have the actual coordinate itself. So that was B part I. So let's have a look at B part 2. B part 2 says we want to find the length of BE. Now, this is used by the formula derived from Pythagoras. So we're going to have x2 minus x1 all squared. So the difference in the x values plus the difference in the y values. So y2 minus y1 all squared. And it's going to be the square root of this. So BE is going to be equal to now, looking at the coordinates A, uh, B, and E, we've already got E. Uh, the coordinate B is 9 minus 1. So B is 9 minus 1. So I'm going to pick B as the second coordinate as it has a higher x value, so it's further on the right, so hopefully maybe get positive values. So I'm going to get 9 minus minus 3, all squared, plus minus 1 minus 8, all squared. Continue, make sure square root sign goes over the whole expression. So the modulus of BE equals 12 squared is 144 plus 9 squared, which is 81. So the modulus of BE, 144 plus 81 is 225, which gives us an answer, finally, of 15. Um, how are the marks awarded in this? Well, initially on part B, part I, any method of solving, trying by doing simultaneous equations, so uh, will give you a method mark. So any this is why the communication is important because as soon as you show you try and do something by the simultaneous equations, then you get your method marks. And then if you get all the way to this part at y equals eight by solving those simultaneous equations and 
showing the working to prove that you do have actually got those answers, then you get your accuracy mark. For finding the length of the line, well, you get a method mark for demonstrating this use of Pythagoras with the difference of the two coordinates, and then you get an accuracy mark if you get to the answer of 15. Okay, I hope that all made sense for you.